exciting event for Thunderbird Regional Galleries. Not only is this the opening event for State of the Art 2023, um, this is, of course, the announcement of the winners of this um, particular competition for Queensland Quilters. And as Gallery Director, um, I'm absolutely thrilled that we have been able to um, bring this exhibition to our children's art space. Um, I would like to commence today's proceedings by acknowledging that we are gathered today on the lands of the Tarabo and Bunda, Garang Garang, Gurang and Mayili peoples. I would like to recognise the thousands of generations of culture that have shaped this land on which we live and work and which I know today some of you are visiting. I would like to pay my respects to elders past and present and I would like to acknowledge any First Nations people joining us here today. Um, as I mentioned, I'm the Gallery Director for Bundaberg Regional Galleries. Um, my name is Rebecca McDuff. Um, we have this beautiful children's art space that you're gathered in today and also the Bundaberg Regional Art Gallery in Children's. Um, and I was, we were approached, I think about 12 months ago now, by Julie Tasco, who has been behind organising this exhibition um, coming to us. And I was excited because it was when I, not long after I first started at the gallery, we had this exhibition the first time, which was 2017, out at the children's art space, yep. Yeah. And um, it was, um, yeah, very well received. So it was definitely a no-brainer that we would be keen to have it again. And then Julie said, not only will you have it, but you actually will get to host the, um, the judging, the, the announcement of the winners. And I thought, this is a bit special. That's pretty lovely. Um, and before I pass the mic over to Julie, I just want to acknowledge the incredible work that she has done with us as a gallery, but also I know with the quilters and the Queensland quilters in um, bringing this exhibition together. Um, the works arrived, everything was just so organised. It was beautiful. I don't know whether it's maybe Quilter's brain is just so organised or something because of all the stitching, isn't it? I mean, just, I, <laughs> the art spray is in there as well, definitely. Everything was just, we asked and it was there and it was amazing. So um, thank you, Julie. It's been an absolute pleasure and it's been an honour for our gallery to host this exhibition. I am going to now pass straight over to Julie um, to say a few words. Thank you, Rebecca. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm at the age now where I'm in glasses a little week. <laughs> so welcome to the gallery here. Thank you for joining us at the official opening for SOTA. This is our 14th year of the State of the Art Exhibition of Queensland Quilters. Thank you, everyone who's travelled quite a distance, some of you, to be with us today for the opening. We thank you for making that effort. A huge thank you to Rebecca McDuff, Claudia Baxter and the team for the exceptional job that you've done in hanging the quilts. They were beautiful. We are sincerely grateful to Benina Australia and Queensland Quilters for their sponsorship of the prizes for the exhibition. Having prizes draws more entries into the exhibition and I believe a higher standard in the works that are entered. There are many people to thank here today, all of whom have uh, played an important role in allowing us to have SOTA 2020. First of all, thank you to the entrants. When I announced the theme and the size restrictions, many groans were heard. However, our members rose to the challenge and have created stunning quilts. Thank you to each person who made an entry. There would be no exhibition without the entries. <clears throat> Particular thanks and congratulations to the members who entered for the first time this year. We have 36 entries and we have 29 quilts that are hanging in the gallery today. I thank Lynn Kenny for her work in receiving the online entries. Linda Balding, an internationally known art quilter, was our juror. And we thank her for her time and expertise in selecting the quilts with themes and colours, combinations that work to make this very cohesive exhibition. Our two judges had the very difficult decision to make uh, decide which one would be the winner. So we thank Tricia Roost, a mixed media artist who teaches internationally, and Bernadine Hine, a textile and mixed media artist with extensive experience making and judging quilts. Thank you to Chris and Judy for your assistance on Judging Day. Thank you to Cheryl for preparing the certificates. Thanks to my dad, John, who prepared the rods for us. And thank you to Nicole who helped to deliver the quilts this week. Some of you here this afternoon may not be sure what an art quilt is. Most people, when they think of a quilt, would think of a very traditional piece of work with 
squares and hexagons joined together, perhaps some applique quilted and usually prepared to go on a bed. Art quilts have a focus on design rather than functionality. Our exhibition is themed flora, being Latin meaning flower. The word originates from the year 1500, referring to the Roman goddess of flowers. In Middle English, its meaning included to blossom and flourish. Today, the word is also used to refer to the plant life of a particular region. Artists were invited to explore the word flora and what it means to them. With size restrictions of 15 inch increments up to a maximum size of 45 inch square. So the quilts in this exhibition, as art quilts, may just have two layers, which is different to the traditional three. The artists have responded to the theme with some realistic representations of flowers, memories of gardens, some intricate studies of flowers and leaves, impressionist views of floral landscapes, and others have responded with their response to the concept of flourish and blossom. Our artists often dyed the fabrics themselves, some with plant-based eco dyes and others with commercial dyes. The designs in these quilts are created by the artists themselves. They have not used somebody else's pattern. We can see the use of batik, painting, raw edge applique, felting, hand and machine embroidery, leaf printing, trapunto, beading, and more. Last year, at our opening of Sota 2022, I shared a poem by Sandra E. Anderson, and I thank her for allowing me to share another one of her poems today. It is inspired by the old song, Mother, M-O-T-H-E-R, M is for the many things you gave me. This poem talks about UFOs, and in quilting language, that is talking about unfinished objects. So, Sandra's poem is, Q is for quilting. Q is for the quilts I love to dream of, planning colors, values, and the hues. U is for the UFOs I have now, for dreaming doesn't make those quilts come true. I is for the ideas that keep coming, when I see new fabrics at the store. L is for the loads of fabric I bought, and I just keep on buying more and more. T is for the time that flies so quickly when I'm stitching on my latest quilt. E is for the energy I'll need to finish, for like a flower, I will surely wilt. R is the real reason I keep quilting, and I can tell you this is really true. It's more than just a pattern and some fabric. It's making lots of friends, like you, and you, and you. So if you put those letters all together, they spell a word I'm mighty glad to be. Put them all together, they spell quilter, the name for you, and you, and you, and me. Each quilter here knows how true these words are. We dream constantly of quilts. Watching the cricket, I'm planning quilts in my head. I know that I have a feeling that I will never have enough time on this planet to make all the quilts that I dream of making. What about the loads of fabric we keep buying, and those UFOs that quietly come into being? Of course, the friendship of fellow quilters helps us along the way, and also challenges us to improve, improve our skills. Often it is the process more than the finished product that holds the most meaning to us. So today we thank you for coming to share with that meaning with us. Enjoy the quilts. I now invite President of Queensland Quilters Chris Jones to present the prizes. We have four prizes to present. We have a first, a second, a third, and an honourable mention. Unfortunately, some of the um, winners can't be with us today for various reasons, but we have deputised a few friends amongst us. So, a highly commended, which is behind you, uh, is called Tropical Delight by Doreen Dara and Michelle. You've been co-opted, except on your behalf.
Prize. Is it almost local? I think she can probably be cast as local. Jeannie Henry for her floral sunrise, which I think is around the corner. And Sue Dennis, oh sorry, yes, it's over there. Um, Sue Dennis is going to accept on her behalf. Thank you. 